is Sina Habibi, and I'm the co-founder and COO of uh, Cognitivity Neurosciences. A company we started in 2013, uh, we have invented and patented a technology for detecting mental health disorders, in particular dementia and Alzheimer's. We often say since 1907, when Dr. Alzheimer's um, discovered the disease and characterized it, our assessment methods have not changed. He asked memory questions then, we are asking memory questions today. What we've done uh, is completely revolutionary, completely different to whatever has been done before. We're looking at image cognition, how we perceive images. When you look around yourself, your eyes work like a camera, constantly capture images, and your brain analyzes that. Your ability to analyze that information is called image cognition, and that's the ability of the brain we have focused on. We see this to be used anywhere that you need to assess someone's cognitive performance. The analogy that we use is that it works like a blood pressure tool for your brain. You can do it at any given time and it can detect problems and when people are at risk and direct them to take uh, further measurement and further assessment in order to establish what is the underlying reason causing the problem. The first product is going to be a primary care screening tool. Anyone above a certain age, when they go see their GPs, our artificial intelligence engines uh, looks at the demographic information, look at your electronic health records, and realizes that you might be at risk. A test is administrated for you, it takes you five minutes to do it. It doesn't require an expert. It is independent of culture, language, and education. Uh, these are all biases that you have in other tests because of the inherent bias of uh, memory being the key part of measurement. So we administer the test for five minutes, then we compare your test result with everyone else who's taken the test before, and as soon as there is a, a problem, we can uh, make uh, a referral in the form of a triage tool that you go seek further assessment in order to complete a diagnosis. We're hoping that we have this out in GP clinics by beginning of 2020. At the moment, diagnosis of dementia is really difficult. And for example, to give you some figures, uh, one in two people never receive diagnosis. And those who receive it, receive it so late. This is talking about the most advanced healthcare systems in the world, in the UK, in the US, and in the Western world. These numbers are horrendously worse in uh, underdeveloped uh, countries. You have nine in 10 people not receiving diagnosis before death. So uh, the diagnosis is difficult, there is no screening tool, tools are uh, subjective and uh, these are all problems that you have in the, in the existing system, uh, in the existing patient pathway which, is, which has resulted in these low uh, numbers and underdiagnosed disease. So what we want to do, we want to have an active screening at primary care when as soon as there is a problem we can detect it and uh, that's going to help the patient pathway, the treatment process for the patients if diagnosed earlier.